Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on climographs. The Earth has many different climates. One way we can study those climates is with a climograph. But how do climographs work? Here we have a climograph for Calcutta, India. At first glance, it may seem complicated because we have two things going on. First, we have a line, and second, we have some green bars. How can you have a line and bars on a graph at the same time? Well, they stand for two different things. On this graph, we are tracking temperature and precipitation at the same time. It's easy to see them if we separate them. Let's hide the precipitation. All we have now is a blue line. If we look carefully at the scale, we see the temperature from 0 all the way up to 35. Now, in January, the temperature in Calcutta is about 20 degrees. As the months go on, the temperature varies up to about 30 and then a little below 30, and all the way to December, back to 20 degrees. So we can see, when we look at the line for temperature for Calcutta, the temperature stays nice and warm there all year long. Now let's look at the precipitation data for Calcutta. To do that, we'll hide the temperature data, and we can see all we're left with is green bars. The green bars are very small from January through April. In Calcutta, there's very little rainfall during those months. But in June, July, August, and September, we have huge green bars. And we can see by the scale that there's 300 millimeters or more of rain in July, August, and September. That makes sense when you consider the climate of Calcutta because during these four months, Calcutta has a monsoon season. And during the monsoon season, rains are very heavy. So you can see a climograph is not that hard to read. All you need to do is remember there are two scales to a climograph. One for temperature and one for precipitation. And you can look at the line and the bars and read them separately.